Shannon Sharp. What? 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 Are you going to overreact? Oh, you going to overreact? No, huh? no, I'm just going to react <laughs> objectively. In all the years I've been covering your sport, the National Football League, I have never ever seen anything like this. It's happening again right before your very eyes. Bill Belichick has his new Jimmy G, <laughs> his new next Brady. He has now fallen in football love with Jared Stidham. And it's very clear, especially after last night, that he is fast-tracking Jared Stidham to replace Tom Brady next season. If not this season, if in fact, I'm knocking on wood, heaven forbid, Tom Brady happened to go down in a game this year. Because it's pretty clear Jared Stidham is now the backup quarterback, the 1A quarterback for Bill Belichick. And it looks like Brian Hoyer, who I've called the most valuable backup in the league because he's such a qualified backup. Mm -hmm. I think he's uh, 21 and 26 as a starter, but he's had his moments in this league. It looks like he's going to be on the market maybe today because the cuts are coming by 4 p.m. Eastern tomorrow. So as Jen just pointed out, Jared Stidham played the entire game last night. And what's more, Jared Stidham was able to start the fourth preseason game with an unheard of starting unit around him. (laughs) He got to start the meaningless fourth preseason game with three starting receivers. Mm -hmm. Now, Belichick can sell it to everyone because, obviously, Edelman has been hurt. Demarius is coming off his Achilles reattachment. Mm -hmm. And Josh Josh Gordon has been suspended and just got reinstated. Correct. So you can sell that. But clearly, the goal last night was to make Jared Stidham look just as good as he could look because he was going to be able to play with first stringers, (laughs) with starters. Yeah. And I'm going to remind you that the fourth preseason game, the last one, is notorious for coaches playing absolutely nobody. So you're playing Because you don't want to get anybody hurt, Skip. You you definitely don't. So remember, uh, the vast majority of players who played last night will get cut today or at least by tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And a large number of those last night played their last football game of their lives Mm -hmm. because they will then be sent into forced retirement. Am I right? Yes. So Bill Belichick says, nah, watch what I do. I'm going to start my quarterback of the near future with three starting wide receivers. Mm -hmm. So I want you to think about this. Jared Stidham wound up playing 218 preseason snaps. Mm -hmm. That's a lot. To Tom Brady's 28 preseason snaps. A year ago, Brady played 69 snaps in the preseason, which was That's quite a, lot. a few, but still 69 last year, all the way down to 28, while Jared Stidham played in all four preseason games for a grand total of 218 snaps. And in those four games, he averaged attempting 23 passes Mm -hmm. a game. Mm -hmm. Well, that's kind of like a starting quarterback would during the real season, right? right? Mm -hmm. 23 attempts a game. So it is clear to me that Bill Belichick is desperate to have the opportunity to show the world, as as he's now 67 years of age, Uh that he can win a Super Bowl without Tom Brady. He's desperate to find his new Jimmy G, got him, Jared Stidham, and (laughs) fast-track him to replace Tom Brady. So let me get this straight. The the quarterback who has led the New England Patriots to four of the last five Super Bowls (laughs) and who has won three of the last five Super Bowls has to put up with that? That quarterback was forced, because this is a team rule that I think only New England has, he was forced to to dress full out last night. Right. Tom Brady had to yeah. put his shoulder pads yeah. on, uh-huh. carry his helmet onto the field, and stand for all four quarters, because it's a team rule, and watch his potential replacement play the entire last preseason game. Yeah. I feel sorry for Tom Brady having to put up with this. <laughs> and I think he, he doesn't get nearly enough credit for putting up with Bill Belichick and rising above him to, again, make New England the favorite to get back to a fifth Super Bowl in six years. Thank you. Skip, I will agree with you on this point. Um, but I, and, and, and we had never seen... Demarius Thomas is a Pro Bowl, all-pro wide receiver that's played in two Super Bowls. Julian Edelman is a Super Bowl MVP that's played in four Super Bowls. 
Josh Gordon was an all pro, and we know what he represents. So to see those guys out there with Stidham, I believe Coach Belichick was trying to kill two birds with one stone. I need to see what Jared Stidham can do with actual receivers that he's going to actually throw to in the game. Because a lot of those guys, Skip, they're second tier guys. A lot of them are going to get released, and if they're not going to only, they're only going to get an opportunity to play if one of these guys were to get injured. So I want to see what Stedham actually can do throwing to real guys uh, early in the ball game. But I also believe that Coach Belichick did want to get these guys some work. You mentioned Edelman got hurt early in camp and hadn't been back. Uh, Demarius Thomas was coming off that torn Achilles that he suffered in December. He was on the pup. He he needed work. Josh Gordon was suspended, as you mentioned. He, uh, and he needed work. So to get these guys work with Stidham, who could possibly uh, play at some point in time during the season, Skip, look, for the for the better part of 2080 got injured, so better part of 12 years, Tom Brady has, has not missed any time in the regular season. But he is 42. And for some, for the unforeseen, godforsaken reason he get nicked, Coach Belichick needs to, wants to know that I can have all the utmost confidence in Jared uh, in, in Stidham mm-hmm. that he can get the job done. And we've gone through this, and you believe this as much as I do. Mm-hmm. Coach Belichick believes it's his system, Skip. He believed that he could put Jared Stidham in there and get the same results. That's why he was willing to do what he did, was willing to do with Jimmy G. Mm-hmm. He honestly believes, Skip, and nobody can tell me different, that Coach Belichick does not believe he can win a Super Bowl without 12. He believes it. Agreed. Yep. And, and remember, it was reported by ESPN. He was ready to go forward with Jimmy G. We're going back two seasons, two seasons ago, ago, right? Yes. And at the last second, I don't know if Tommy went up to Daddy, but somehow Daddy got wind of this, yes. as in Robert Kraft. Yes. And he said no. And I think it might be the first time in Belichick's history of right. running the Patriots right. where a football decision got overturned right. upstairs by the owner. Yeah. And he said, Robert Kraft said, no. Nope, well, a situation to. like that, Skip, you got to. There are certain things that I'm sure Coach Belichick can do without having to bounce it off Mr. Kraft. A situation that big? Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, you, yeah. oh, you bouncing it off him. Yeah. There are certain things. Hey, don't bother me with that little nuance. You want to make a trade for us. I mean, they traded for two offensive okay, linemen. Okay, got it. Hey, Mr. Kraft, I don't, think, no, I don't yeah. think he knew. Yeah. You're going to make a move like that, he's going to know about it. Yeah. But Jared Skip, and, and you saw this early on because Stidham kept getting more and more reps. You saw less of Brian Hoyer, you saw more of Stidham. And yeah. I said, I said, either he's going to get released or he's going to be a trade a trade candidate you did. for someone. You said that. They, they love this kid. And Coach Belichick believes this is his system, and he said, Josh McDaniels, I need you to get that guy ready to go play. Mm-hmm. I need that. Mm-hmm. That's why he take the whole game? You say 218 snaps over four game skips. That's, he's, getting in, he's actually getting like regular... Game, you only play a r- average about 65 snaps a game. Mm-hmm. Well, he's playing about 50, almost 55 snaps a he game. Is? In the preseason. Correct. So he's telling you, I'm getting this guy ready to play. Fast track. Yep. I'm going to say it again. I watched a good bit of Jared Stidham at Auburn and some of him at Baylor. Mm-hmm. And he is a talented kid because yes. he's athletic. He's obviously far more athletic yes. than Tom Brady. Yes. He's been taken off like crazy and doing a lot of running and a lot of dangerous running. So yeah. I'm not sure he's going to last nearly as long as right. Tom has lasted. Right. But to me, in the biggest games at Auburn, and he had some big moments, mm-hmm. he also can lack some poise mm-hmm. in the biggest moments. Right. So I, he has little to nothing to do with Tom Brady, mm-hmm. even though he has played very well this preseason. You, uh, we got one play. If we just show the interception he threw last night, he just held the ball too long and he got rocked and right. it went straight up in the air. And it was just yeah. one of those, you, you got to learn situations where just let it go because Tom's not going to do that. Right. Tom's not even going to try that. And no. then it's just one of those pathetic jump ball interceptions. Right. Okay. In general, he has played. Pretty well. Yes. Sometimes yes. very he has, well. He has, well. he has been impressive. But Belichick is like goo-goo-eyed over it. You know, like, come on. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, but I think the thing is, Skip, is that you want to see, okay, yeah, we've seen him play with some backup guys, some of the guys that's mm-hmm. not, probably not going to be on the roster. Yep. Well, let me see what he can do with these guys. Because if Tom Brady does get nicked and he happens to miss a game or two, Coach Belichick needs to feel comfortable that he can plug this guy in and not miss a beat. But the, the question that I have, Skip Bayless, if let's just say, and we hope this doesn't happen, Tom gets nit, he misses a game, two or three. Stidham plays well. You think they put Tom back in? 
Depends what, <laughs> that's a Robert Kraft decision to me. It would go, go to the top on that one. You and probably, the, the, probably top, would. the top would say, absolutely, you put him back in. They are the Super Bowl favorites as we speak. Mm-hmm. Do you think Jared Stidham's going to go to Kansas City and beat the Chiefs, you know, arrowhead and take them to the Super Bowl? No. Let's just say for the sake of argument, Tom Brady says, you know what? I'm tired of the way Coach Belichick treating me. I'm up out of here. He pulls an Andrew Luck and he retires. How far do you think the Patriots drop in the Super Bowl mm. prediction? Their favorite now, do you think they go outside the top five as favorite to win the Super Bowl? Yes, I do. I think Tony Pollard can do can be better at his position <laughs> than Jared Stidham can be at his position. It's just too hard to play it as a rookie or any you know at any age, yeah. but especially as a rookie as you're taking over for the greatest player of all time, and your team is the Super Bowl favorite? Uh-huh. You don't think you'd crumble under that pressure? Well, that might be a situation we hope we don't see because I think you lose your mind. Yeah, I would lose my mind. <laughs> and I think Robert Kraft is about to lose his mind because you have predicted this will be Tom Brady's last year in New England. You could be right about that if Belichick gets his way because clearly he is angling toward that right here, right now. Mm-hmm. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.